calling bill collectors like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Can I get an extension, this, that, and the third? Calling companies, hey, can um, you help me pay this bill, this, that, and the third? It's like, that's not the life that God has for us. <laughs> I'm about to go in beast mode No need to worry, I did this before Be going hard since the day I was born No stopping me, I'ma keep going Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel If you are new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button And also turn on the notification bell Which is on the side of the subscribe button And last but not least, make sure that you leave a comment In the comment section down below Because you guys already know that I love chatting with you guys So without further ado you guys, let's Let's get into the video get into the video I'm here to talk about single mothers and investing in yourself I know how hard it is to personally invest in yourself because you are the sole um, you're the head of the household. You're in control of finances. You're in control of everything. You're required to take care of bills. You're required to do doctor's appointments. You're required to do schooling. You're re required to do after school curricular activities. Um, you know, um, internet, whatever it is, cable, things that you have to pay. And it's like, it all comes straight from you. You don't have a teammate or a partner that's there to actually help you to get things done. So I know a lot of times us single mothers, we like to put things on the back burner because we feel like our children are first and we always prioritize our life around our children which is absolutely wonderful but what would be even more wonderful is if you set your children up for a brighter future and not only that you set yourself up for a brighter future because how many of us is just super tired of working these nine to five jobs barely or you get in like three hours a day you're getting your hours are being cut all this other stuff or you're just working so hard to get nothing very much back in return and you're trying to pay your bills and you're living paycheck to paycheck which i have a money saving budgeting for single mothers video i'll put it in the i card so you guys can go and look at that video to figure out how do you save money if you're on low income or you're on a fixed income and you're a single mom and you're really trying to make things happen you know my story is where I start is not where I'm gonna finish. But it's all about the work that you put in. It's all about your determination. It's all about your discipline and just knowing that you're gonna go to the next level. And for me, I am manifesting in my life that this is the last year that I will be a low income mother, you know, on a fixed income by next year, I'll be financially set and my businesses will be growing and flourishing. And I just suggest that any mother that you find something that you really love and you make a profit out of it. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says that our gifts will make room for us. A lot of us are sitting on a lot of gifts and we're not using it to our full advantage. You might be a single stay at home mom, but everybody's always talking about your cooking, ranting and raving about your cooking. You can literally start a cooking business, you know, start selling plates or whatever the case may be. You might know how to do hair because you're always doing your daughter's hair. You can literally start a hair business and go from there. You know what I'm saying? It's all in, you have to use whatever it is that drives you, whatever gives you a passion. Use that so that it can help you to make money. Money. I am a firm believer. The Bible says that you should have seven streams of income. I feel like you really should because you never know. Something might happen just like this pandemic happened. A lot of people ended up losing their jobs and you want something to fall back on. You don't want to constantly just be relying on one consistent income and it's barely getting you by and then you're like trying to make it out to see like how am i going to take care of this how i'm going to take care of that i have this bill that bill the next bill car notes car insurance all this stuff that you have to pay there's no way that you can literally um and this time in this day and age just working a nine to five just isn't gonna cut it especially if you're living in california everybody knows that california is like super super expensive you know and just even where you are wherever you live things have gotten really expensive um 
And so I just feel like as a mother, it is so important for us to um, set ourselves up for a better future. We don't have to live like this. And I just got frustrated with living like this. You know what I'm saying? Paycheck to paycheck and, you know, barely making ends meet or trying to put stuff together at the end of the month or, you know, like calling bill collectors like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Can I get an extension? This, that, and the third. Calling companies, hey, can um, you help me pay this bill? This, that, and the third. It's like, that's not the life that God has for us. And I feel like, um, he wants us to be, I feel like he wants us to be prosperous. That's what his word says. He wants us to prosper. Um, it's all in what you do with the finances actually, which will help you to prosper. So I just say, you know, as a single mother, you have to invest in yourself because investing in yourself is really investing in your children. A lot of times we spend money on these new gadgets, shoes, clothes, this, that, and the third. And it's just like, I feel like if you were really to dial down and, um, Put what what's really look at what's important and what's not like are these Jordans important like is this new iPhone for my child that is only 10 years old is that important like you have to figure out what is important and I'm not saying not to get your kids nice things um but I feel like if you're barely making it like why would you you know be putting your money towards those things you know those things will come eventually once you get your business off the ground and your business is making money you will be able to buy your kids certain things but i really honestly feel like in this generation like kids are so stuck on materialistic things and stuff like that so i don't i really don't think it's like super mandatory or important it's okay to get your kids nice things every once in a while but like literally i've seen so many mothers trying to outdo the next mother trying to outdo birthday parties trying to outdo this that and the third and all you are stuck with is just no money you know because you're trying to outdo the next mother you're trying to oh my kids are gonna have the top of the line and my kids is, and that's perfectly fine but if you aren't at that level yet then there is no reason that you should be doing that. Like you need to really use wisdom when it comes down to money. And that is like my prayer for myself is that I use wisdom and that I'm not just frivolously spending money here and there. You know, um, I started the savings, you know, so that way I can be able to really get this business of mine off the ground. Um, so I feel like it's very doable. If you can go to Starbucks and spend $5 every single day, just imagine how much that adds up in 365 days a year. <laughs> it's a lot of money. You know, if you can, you know, spend money on Nikes and Jordans and iPhones and this and that, it's just like, I seen this quote and it said, if you can afford to have a $7.99 phone, then you can afford to start a business that's one one ninety nine. Like, there's no way that your phone, you got a seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand dollar phone, but then you aren't even like, you know, doing anything. So I just feel like as us being single mothers, we have to go ten times harder because we don't have anybody to help us. And I understand a lot of us don't have like child care and things like that. That's even all the more of the reason because I don't have child care, but I am determined to um create wealth um for my family for god's kingdom just for you know others to be able to help other single mothers eventually i do want to get to a point where i'm able to take a mother and do a mommy makeover because we want to look nice which i'll be doing a video on how you can pamper yourself on a budget sis because we single mothers we need to pamper ourselves we need to love ourselves we need to if we take care of ourselves <laughs> then our children will be happy our our children will be happy our children will flourish our children will grow and by us starting businesses we can actually set our kids up to like you know take over or you know have the kids help you out in your business so that way that um they know how to have entrepreneurship you know whether it's like real estate you going around and taking your kids to the houses whether it's cooking in the kitchen showing them how to you know get the seasonings and stuff down you know whether it's eyelashes showing them how to package things like that whatever it is that you are um passionate about 
I feel like that you can make money from because like I said, your gifts will make room for you, but it's all up to you and what you want to do. You have to just be determined to not live that lifestyle anymore. You have to be determined to not be paycheck to paycheck, being a paycheck to paycheck mom. We already have a stigma on us for us being single mothers, even, you know, to begin with in the first place. So I just, um, hope that this video helps you and I just really want to tell you to invest in yourself it is so important that you invest in yourself your children will thank you your future self will thank you um so sometimes we have to say no for to the things of right now but that's okay because later on down the line your kids are going to be so thankful that you did like sacrifice some things sacrifice some electronics new nikes new this new that you know what i'm saying in order for them to have a better life and for you to have a better life um so i thank you guys for watching this video please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe for more videos and chat with me down below until next time peace